I am bringing you inside this institution. I am presenting to you Ethra, where the wisdom of yesterday and the vision of tomorrow come into one place. One roof, one institution, one visit, and one drive. This is King Abdullah's Center for World Culture. Now, this is the main lobby as you enter the building. Wow, it's a seven-star hotel lobby. Salam. Ethra, by the way, is also known as Saudi Aramco Museum because the main attraction here is the museum. And to get inside the gallery, you have to pay for the entrance fee. You know, this is my first time here, but wow. And I heard also that there is a theater inside the building. So again, this is my first time, so I am not much aware of what we have here, but it's so fabulous. Going to the galleries, you will find this electronic presentation of phonemes. This is created by a Saudi artist. We are entering the gallery number four. This is the Natural History Gallery. At the entrance area, they have the electronic orientations about the Arabian natural history and the subjects that are displayed inside the gallery. <laughs> سنستكشف في منطقة الجزيرة العربية تاريخ عرضنا كان السنة القادمة بوزع صورة وهو حيوان بحر عاش هنا قبل ملايين السنين here inside the gallery of the Arabian Natural History, there is another state-of-the-art presentation on a wide screen on the wall. It's just like you are inside the cinema with the surround system quality of the sound. What you will see here are the changes of climate and landscape of the Arabian soil. The animals that once lived the Arabian land. Some are still existing while some are gone already. Terrestrial, arboreal, aquatic, and amphibian animals.
at the Religious Culture and Heritage Gallery, what you can see are these ones. The different architectural designs of the famous mosque in the world, including what we have here in Saudi Arabia. The religious relics and different artworks. Other than this, there are also electronic lectures that you can find here. There are two cues that you need to push the buttons on to see the presentation. So you will learn so many things. I have always been captivated by Islamic art, from architecture to geometry, calligraphy, and miniature painting. In particular, I have long held a special fascination for historic depictions of the two holy mosques of Mecca and Medina. They are diverse and mostly found in manuscripts dealing with the pilgrimage or with the history of the holy cities, on her certificates, prayer books, and ceramic tiles. What amazes me about this astrolabe is that it represents a two-dimensional model of the heavens showing how the sky looks at a specific place and time. So astrolabes can be considered the astronomical computers of their time solving mathematical problems relating to the position of planets, the sun, the stars, and time. This instrument and the learning that went with it had a massive impact on world history. It is well known that Muslim Spain, from which this astrolabe originates, passed on the invention of the astrolabe to Europe in the 11th century. This transfer of knowledge ultimately led to modern-day astronomy. If you are fond of reading books, you can come to the library. This is the one. They have the books for sale and the books also for public reading only. After reading, you have to return that to the shelf. Before going home, you can buy souvenir items here at the Ethra store. What I am giving you is the video of the Ethra building from different sides and different angles. It's totally amazing. The design is fantastic.
Now allow me to show you the landscape. I'm sure you will be amazed by the landscape. Thank you.